Okay, so now let's go ahead and add gravity to our player. For that, open up the script and right here, after this character controller reference, let's create a public float by the name of gravity and this will be equals to minus 9.81f which is the gravity value if you check it out on the internet after that right here in the player jumping and velocity what we will do is to create another public float by the name of surface distance and this will be by default equals to 0.4 f okay and before the surface distance let's create a vector 3 by the name of velocity and after this create a public transform this will be basically a reference to our surface check okay so name this as surface check we will create a game object by the name of surface check and we will assign it to this transform okay but that is for the future after this we need a bool by the name of on surface by using this we will make sure that if the player is on the surface or not okay we have already created the surface distance then we need a reference to our player mask sorry not the player mask the surface mask okay so we will say surface mask okay make sure that you create all of these variables and once that is done so after this now let's check if the player is on the surface or not so for that we will set this on surface to physics dot check sphere and in here we will pass the surface check dot position and then the surface distance and then the surface mask okay and after that we will check if the player is on surface and the velocity dot y is less than zero then what we will do we will simply set the velocity dot y to minus 2 f after this we will say velocity dot y will be equals to or plus equals to basically right here we are giving gravity to our player so we will multiply the gravity by time dot delta time it means that when the player is in the air okay or you can say that if the player is falling then we want that falling to be time dependent okay we don't want that if the player reaches the edge and then jump and then in a second he's on the ground okay we don't want that we want a really realistic kind of falling okay so we will make that time dependent and after that we will move the player okay we will move it and accordingly with the velocity and let's make that velocity time dependent so time dot delta time so we have applied a gravity to our player and also we are checking right here that if the player is on the surface or not and if the player is not on the surface so it means that the player is in the air so then a recording with the time we will move the player down to the surface okay and this will be just like a falling effect okay so this is for checking if the player is on the surface and here is this is the gravity so let's give a comment as gravity okay so save the script get back right here now if you see we need a surface mask and also a reference to our surface check so for that first of all right here on the player 
what we will actually do is to create an empty game object inside the player okay and let's name this as surface check and now click on this player let's drag and drop the surface check right there and then you make sure that the surface check is right here in the player foot okay make sure that you move the surface check down below right there and once you have done that then we need a mask okay or you can say a layer so let's just select this whole plane okay let me first of all select all of this let's add a layer by the name of surface okay and then select all of these things because this will be the surface or actually we have already named this uh, actually change this environment to that layer which is environment so we can give this the environment tag as well so now let's play the game now as you can see that this thing was not on the box collider okay our environment doesn't have the collider or as you can see let's add a mesh collider to it okay we have added the mesh collider now let's check it out okay our player is standing right there okay let's move now right there you will notice that our player can detect slopes as you can see and he's moving really beautiful as you can see okay now let's move there okay our player is moving on the slopes as well as you can see so everything is working and guys let me tell you that you can just add your own terrain or you can say this ground on the surface okay and then you can tell this player that that is the surface layer okay but as you can see that we make this whole environment we add this whole environment to the layer environment so that's why we assign the environment layer right there okay because this all environment is walkable for our player so that's why we added that layer right there you can change the environment to surface if you want and then you can change that from right here to surface and then the player will move on the surface as well so for example now we have added the surface mask right here the surface and environment mask now if we change this to surface our player will walk on this as well As you can see he is still walking on this and if you check the player let's go inside the debug mode as you can see it shows that our player is on the surface because for the surface mask we have added the surface and environment so this thing is on the surface and the other is the environment and the condition becomes true so that's why it is showing that yes the player is on the surface okay so you can name your layer whatever you want and then just simply add that real layer right here okay now with this done our player has gravity now we want the player to sprint and jump but that is for the future videos